Welcome back, everyone. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. This is the Yesu VX6 with the Diamond SRH320A antenna. That's a tribander. And what I want to do is talk about the re uh, battery replacement. The Yesu battery replacement um, has gotten a bit pricey. Uh, it can go up to 60 plus dollars. And I thought, why not see if there is another manufacturer that does it? And Amazon had one for uh, $25 plus tax. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at it. It just came in today and see how it operates. And of course, um, as time goes on, we'll give you a report on how it goes. So on here, it says 1500 milliamps lithium ion battery pack. So that's good because it has to be a lithium ion battery. It looks new, and here is the, uh, here is, wow, it has a very similar texture, similar, but about the same. It has uh, the screws as well, that's good, and the contour, hmm, okay. Now to remove this, uh, you can get a coin, or you can get a uh, pocket knife and then just pry this a bit and it pops. You can use your finger too. And then here, sometimes uh, this seam is very, very tight. And the pocket knife has uh, something you can slide in there gently, not with the sharp edge. Okay, and then it pops out. All right, all right, let's see what we got here. Hmm. Let me see. I, it feels like this one's a little bit heavier, but maybe that's the plastic. I don't know. Okay. As you can see, these are covered. These are not. Hmm. Well, this is something different. So this is the Yesu uh, battery says uh, uh, SBR40LI 7.4 volts 1370 milliamp 11 amp 11 watt hours this one also says 7.4 uh, volts 1500 milliamps and that's it hmm, interesting rechargeable lithium ion and here it says lithium iron battery pack okay so one thing about the battery that I came with the radio I've had this radio mm, probably more than two years and I've noticed that it does charge up to like something like 8.3 8.4 volts but the moment I use it within a half an hour was not even transmitting it's already lost like half of its charge. Uh, maybe because I leave it on the um, this um, you know carrier all the time. Maybe. By the way, this one is the fast charging um, carrier here. That's not probably not called a carrier. It's the lithium iron battery rapid charger CD15A. And it says input 12 volt, 12, it says DC 12 through 16 volts, 600 milliamps. Output DC 8.4. And so this one definitely uh, does charge the, uh, the battery faster. So here's, here's the uh, replacement that goes in here. Nice and snug. Okay, that's interesting, yeah. 
nice and snug. And let's see if we can close this. There we go. Yep. Hopefully it didn't break. I don't think it did. You, you heard it snap really nicely. Uh, is there are, are there any gaps per se? I know that's hard to see here. Let's antenna seems to always get in the way sometimes when you do demonstrations. That seems to be pretty, pretty tight. Okay, so let's uh, put this here. And you can barely see it, but it's charging. Okay, so that's good. That's a, that's a good sign that it's charging. Now we're going to take this off for now. It fits very nicely. I'm going to turn this on. We'll see if it has any charge on it. Yeah, 7.6. So it's, it's very low right now. So we're going to put it here. And it's charging. And then um, I'll report back in another video. And talk about, you know, is it worth getting um, a different type of replacement, right? Um, will it keep the charge? Um, I know these uh, lithium ion batteries, their memory tends to um, go away eventually. Maybe leaving it in this carriage all the time is not a good idea. I'll have to probably read up on that. Um, you know, that's more of an old school thing. You know, don't leave it in the, in the charging bay because the battery might not be... Um, might not charge us as well. If you have a comment on that, please leave it in the comment section. Okay, it's been approximately an hour since it was at 7.6. Uh, so within, within an hour, oh no, a little bit more than an hour, maybe an hour and five minutes, it went from 7.6 to 8.3 or 8.4. Let's see, let's find out here. Yeah, 8.3. Wow, not bad, not bad for um, this battery that we just got. The one thing that I don't like about this charger, uh, it will be red and then it'll start blinking, but not bad, approximately a little more than an hour. Now it won't charge that fast if you plug it on the radio itself without the carrier. You can use the same plug in here, but uh, it won't charge that fast. It charges way more slower. So there's some something in here that makes it go faster. Now, could that damage the, um, the radio's battery? I don't know. Um, but I do know that it took about an hour and uh, let's say an hour and five, an hour and 10 minutes from seven, six, something like that, to eight, three. So I kept the radio on for about 12 hours now. Let's see, uh, and it's only been monitoring. Let's see how the battery life is now. So we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna turn off, turn on, and it's gonna tell us. 7.6. With 7.6, the battery is already running out, but, it did last 12 hours in monitoring, which is great. Um, I did charge it uh, and it charged very nicely, very fast within less than two hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep testing this and uh, give you an update, uh, probably in about a month or more. See how that's, that's coming along. All right. Um, if you have had a replacement battery that's not from Yesu, put it up. Put it up on on the um, discussion uh, and post uh, your, you know, your um, uh, situation. You, you know, your what your experience has been with uh, a battery replacement for the VX6. All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope uh, you give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. 
and I'll see you soon. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie's your Oscar. All right, bye-bye.